Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Brunk's Read Alouds. I'm Mrs. Brunk. Have you ever had a hard decision to make? For example, maybe you're playing with your friend on the playground and they take your soccer ball, which makes you angry. Now instead of taking your soccer ball back, have you ever just gotten angry but let them have the ball anyway? Yeah, I have too. Today's story is all about making tough decisions even when you might feel angry or sad. It's called Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun, Having the Courage to Be Who You Are, by Maria Desmondi, illustrations by Kim Shaw. Before we read our story today, if you haven't already watched the video where I teach you the signs for some feeling words, go ahead and watch that now. Our story is called Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun, Having the Courage to Be Who You Are. What do you see on the cover of this book? Yeah, we see a girl holding a hot dog bun filled with spaghetti. Have you ever eaten anything maybe silly like that? Or that doesn't seem normal to everyone else, like spaghetti in a hot dog bun or even cereal with water? I know I've tried some of those things. What do you like to eat that might be a little silly or maybe someone thinks isn't normal? Oh wow, that sounds interesting. I'll have to try that one. The delicious smell of breakfast filled the air as Lucy's grandpa handed her a plate. Lucy smeared ketchup on her toast. She turned to her grandpa and said, Papa Gino, Harry said she's never heard of ketchup on a toast. Her family uses butter and jelly. Whenever you eat toast, what do you put on it? That sounds delicious. It's okay. Not everyone likes the same thing, Lucy. It doesn't mean one person is right or wrong. We're all different. What a boring world it would be if we were all exactly alike. Do you remember what's really important? Papa Gino asked. Yes, Papa. Even if we are different from others on the outside, we all have a heart with feelings on the inside. Wow, what an important lesson to remember. So even if you like soccer and your best friend likes volleyball, it's important to be respectful to them because they're just like you. They have a heart and they have feelings. That's my girl. Remember, when you treat others with love and kindness, you are doing the right thing, Papa Gino replied. On the school bus, Lucy and her friend Harriet pulled out some paper and crayons. Sitting across from them was Ralph. As usual, Ralph sat all alone, staring out the window. He looked over at them and rolled his eyes. Wow, look at Lucy and Harriet. Do you think they're having a good time on the bus? Yeah. Now Ralph rolled his eyes. Maybe he's bored, maybe he's angry. Why do you think he rolled his eyes? Usually if you roll your eyes, it means you're annoyed with someone. Why do you think he rolled his eyes? Yeah, maybe he's annoyed at something they're doing. Do you think he might feel a little sad that he doesn't have anyone to hang out with on the bus? Let's read to find out. In the classroom, Lucy sat down near the teacher. Raph carelessly hurried over and tripped over Lucy's foot. Before long, he was glaring at her. So glaring just means like staring and you might feel a little angry when you're doing that. Can you show me your best glare? Great job. Ralph whispered, woof, I can't see the book with this poodle in front of me. Lucy could hear him giggling behind her. Oh no, why did it have to be me? She wondered. Why do you think Ralph is saying those unkind things about Lucy? Yeah, maybe he's angry that he tripped over her feet. What do you think he could say instead of making fun of her? Yeah, maybe next time he could have said, excuse me, or he could have taken his time to walk around her feet. During lunch, Harriet shouted one of her silly jokes over the other children's voices. As the girls ate, their bellies shook with laughter. Oh, look, they look like they're happy at lunch. Across the table, Ralph hollered, yuck, that's the disgusting smell. Who ever heard of eating spaghetti in a hot dog bun? Oh, and there's Ralph pointing and all the other students and friends are looking at Lucy. How do you think Lucy might feel? Yeah, she might feel sad. Tony and the other children at the table turned away from Ralph, shaking their heads. Ralph continued, poor little Lucy with her hair so poofy. Tears filled Lucy's eyes as she began to cry. Yeah, now we know that she has tears and she's crying. She definitely feels sad. But one thing I heard was that the other children turned away from Ralph. How do you think that made Ralph feel? Yeah, he probably felt angry or even sad. 
He goes, other kids don't want to be his friend. Or maybe they just don't want to listen to him. On the way home, Lucy thought about what had happened. Maybe Ralph is mean to me because he thinks being different is bad. I wish he would stop teasing me. And what's Ralph doing in the picture? Yeah, he's sticking crayons in her hair. Slowly, Lucy stepped off the bus. How was your day? Papa Gino asked. Fine, she mumbled. Papa reached over and pulled a crayon out of her hair. How did this happen? He asked. Lucy didn't say a word. Look, her head's down. She's off looking at Papa Gino. How does she feel? Yeah, still sad. That night, as Papa Gino tucked Lucy into bed, he asked, Is everything all right at school? Lucy rolled over. He sat, and whis sat down and whispered, Always remember, if something's not right, we can work on fixing it together. It's not that easy, Lucy thought. How do I stop Ralph from teasing me? How can he have a heart and be so mean? Lucy had a hard time falling asleep worrying about what would happen tomorrow. So let's stop here. If you were in Lucy's position, what would you do? How would you get Ralph to stop teasing you? Okay, that's a good idea. So what I've seen in the book is that Ralph spends a lot of time alone. Maybe I would stop Ralph from teasing me by offering to play a game with him because he looks to me like he might be a little lonely. Let's keep reading. The following day, Lucy was surprised to find Ralph was leaving her alone until Lucy took the bag that Ralph handed to her. Inside were dog bones and a note that read, Lucy, Lucy eats stinky food that puts us in a big bad mood. Lucy, Lucy, shaped like a, he shaped like a cone. Here's a treat for you, yummy, yummy dog bone. <sighs> the beating of Lucy's heart was so loud she knew everyone around her could hear it. Stop! It hurts my feelings when you do this, Ralph, Lucy said. Please stop. Ralph turned and he walked away. So look at that. Has anyone ever bothered you? Yeah. And what did you do when they did? Yeah. Sometimes all we need to do is say, please stop. That bothers me. And whoever is bothering us usually walks away. It was recess time and Lucy played alone. Oh, look at her face. Her eyes are down and she doesn't have a smile on her face. Her mouth is kind of pointed down like this. How do you think she feels? Still sad that Ralph is being so unkind to her. She didn't want to tell her teacher about Ralph. She was afraid of being a tattletale. Lucy wished Papa Gino was there to help. What should I do? She asked herself over and over. The bell rang and recess ended. Help! Cried a child off in the distance. Tony yelled, Ralph got himself stuck at the top of the monkey bars. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. This is my chance. I'm gonna tell Ralph, Ralph that he is M-E-A-N mean. Lucy stomped off towards the monkey bars. When she reached Ralph, Lucy paused. She looked at him in the eye and said, what you did was so mean. Standing before Ralph, Lucy could hear her papa's words. Ralph did have a heart with feelings. So what do you think Lucy's going to do next? Do you think she's going to continue telling Ralph how mean he is? Or do you think she'll help him? Let's find out. In that moment, Lucy decided what to do. She saw tears in Ralph's eyes. He hesitated to move and he whispered, I'm scared. Lucy reached out and said, here, take my hand and helped him down. The two walked back to the classroom without saying a word. Why do you think Lucy chose to help Ralph instead of telling him how mean he was? Yeah, because she could see that he was scared. If you were stuck on the monkey bars, would you want someone to make fun of you or would you want someone to help? I would want someone to help. As the bus pulled up to Lucy's stop, Ralph reached over and handed her a picture. Lucy was amazed by what she saw. Thanks, she muttered softly. And it's a picture of a dinosaur and it says to Lucy. I wonder what that means. Maybe it means he wants to be friends. After she got off the bus, Lucy smiled. Papa, there's this boy Ralph who was really mean to me. Today he was in trouble and I helped him. Papa Gino hugged Lucy and replied, that took a lot of courage. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. You chose to treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm so proud of you. As they walked home, she asked him what was for dinner. Papa Gino said spaghetti. Lucy knew immediately what she would have for lunch the next day. Her favorite sandwich, spaghetti and a hot dog bun. In the back here, there's some tips that you can do to show the world that you're special.
Number one, be proud. Two, love yourself. Three, have courage. Four, practice giving. Five, make each day count. Six, celebrate differences. Seven, spread kindness. Eight, share a smile. Nine, forgive. And 10, never give up. So these are all things that Lucy showed us in the story. Let's think back to the story. What is one thing Lucy did to show Ralph some kindness? Absolutely. When she was at the monkey bars and he was scared, she showed him kindness by forgiving all the unkind things he said and helping him down. And because of that, Ralph wanted to be her friend and gave her a picture. He stopped teasing her. Sometimes in this world, all you need is a friend. That brings us to our question of the day. Our question of the day is what is one kind thing you can do for someone else? For example, we read that Lucy in the story forgave Ralph even though he said those mean things to her. She forgave him by helping him off the monkey bars and then he stopped being mean to her. Sometimes all you need in this world is a friend. I might say one kind thing I'm going to do for someone else is to share a smile. So think about it. What's one kind thing you are going to do for someone else? I can't wait to hear your answers. Thank you so much for reading with me and I'll see you again soon. Bye.